I play Seneca Crane, who is the head games maker of, of the 74th annual Hunger Games, which are the Hunger Games that take place in the movie. And he's a, he's a showman. He's a part showman, part producer, part techie guy, because the arena's a, um, all, um, all basically in a big effect. And uh, really, he just wants to put on an exciting show. That's his goal. Jennifer is like... Jennifer's like the definition of badass. She's um, She's got some fire in her, and she's got a great sense of humor, but um, whatever it is she's got going on makes a really amazing actress and, and uh, you know, brings a real strength to the character. I mean, she is just, she's just a badass in who she is. I don't see this, uh, this, uh, this story like similar to other stories where they've had teams. I don't, it's not really about teams. There's a, there's a bigger story at play about, um, you know, about government oppression and rebellion and, and family that I I'm really take the forefront over anything to have to do with um, with that. If I fought in the Hunger Games, I would use my cheetah-like speed to run away and my ninja sword abilities to destroy those who would oppose me. Well, that's a difficult question of uh, who would make a better tribute. Um, Jennifer or Josh, I, I, I mean, it's terrible to begin with to be a tribute, but um, <clears throat> well, Josh is a bit of a badass himself, actually, you know, he's a, he's a tough guy. I think they'll both be good. I mean, they're a good team, right? So I think it probably stays true to the, to the movie. I think the most um, badass tribute out of Nicki Minaj, Snoop Dogg, or Katy Perry would have to be Nicki Minaj because she freaks me out. <laughs> and maybe she could use that power to save herself.